Lab 5 Animal Behavior In this lab, we observe the territorial and sexual behavior of crickets. The behavioral response of territorial male crickets when both male and female crickets are added to his territory was observed. The crickets' preference of habitat was also observed by allowing them to freely move in soil, sand, rocks and empty space. Crickets are territorial insects. Male and female crickets show strong sexual dimorphism. Female crickets have long ovipositors for egg laying that extends from the tip of their abdomens while males can sing. They have this apparatus in their wings that allows them to sing. It is also termed as chirping. This allows the female crickets to judge how large a mate is by listening to his call. Male crickets are territorial and once they have established their territory, they will defend it against other male crickets. The presence of a female cricket inside a male's territory will only heighten the aggression response towards another male. It would also make the males try to initiate mating with the female. The main behaviors observed in males are chirping, avoiding, guarding, following and combating. Females will also show specific behaviors towards coating males that may include ovipositor insertion and mounting of males. It was observed at the end of the lab that the male crickets tried to defend their territory, chirped, followed and guarded females and preferred the empty space while female crickets preferred soil so that they could lay eggs. Materials and methods Male and female crickets were introduced into the black cricket's cage in a specific order as given in the lab protocol and then the observations were noted. Moving on to results and discussion. Here our main hypothesis was once was that once introduced into the cage, both the male crickets would depict various levels of aggression. The following slides will show videos of various levels of aggression that were observed. In the first video, the crickets avoided each other, that is, they showed no interaction. In the video, the two crickets passed by but did not interact at all. In the fourth level, they interact but there is no retreat or aggression. This is clearly seen in the video. In the second level, there is no apparent aggression observed between both the organisms. In the third level, both the crickets show mild level of aggression and here in this video it is seen that the white cricket retreats when, attra when attacked by the black one. In level 4 and 5, they are both intense levels of aggression. In the video, it is observed that the crickets' contacts are terminated after moderate aggression. This eventually leads to sustained combat, which is the fifth level of aggression. The observations of levels 1 through 5 are shown in this table. It is clearly observed that there is climbing, retreat, jumping, mild aggression, combat, etc. The experiment did not su did support our hypothesis and even showed that the cricket wa was more dominant over the black one. This shows that the crickets are territorial and they do try to defend their territory. Fighting wasn't required to resolve the situation since sometimes it was observed that the crickets peacefully stayed in two different corners. The next part of our experiment was introducing a female cricket into the cage containing the two male crickets. It was predicted that the males would show aggression, 
follow and guard the female and attempt courting. The observations recorded were the female trying to jump on the male, aggression, aggressions between the males and the males trying to follow and guard the female. The following video shows one of the observations. It is seen that the black male guards the female. If carefully observed, it is noticed that the male's wings are vibrating. This produces a chirping noise. This is done to try and initiate mating. In the next part of the experiment, one more female and male were introduced into the cage. We predicted that there would be aggression between the males and attempt for coating. In this video, aggression between two males and females was observed. However, no following, guarding or coating attempts were seen. Thus, this didn't completely support our hypothesis. The next part of our experiment was test testing the habitat preference for male and female crickets. Both the male and female crickets one by one were introduced in a cage which was divided into four sections containing sand, soil, rock and empty section. It was hypothesized that the crickets would prefer soil compared to the other substrates. We are observing a male cricket here. It is clearly noticed that it barely spends a few seconds in soil, sand and rocks. It prefers spending more time in the empty space. The graph shows that the females preferred soil while the males preferred empty space. However, the overall class data supports our initial hypothesis that both the males and female crickets preferred soil because females can lay eggs in the soil and the legs of the crickets are more adapted to the moisture of the soil rather than the smooth area. In addition to the expected observations, we notice a few interesting things. When a female was introduced to the habitat cage, it was noticed to remain in the soil for a really long time, with her ovipositors deep in the soil. When carefully observed, it was believed that she was laying eggs. Another contrasting observation was that the females followed and climbed over the male. This is clearly seen in the video. Thus we can conclude that crickets show territorial and sexual behaviors.